Okay, welcome into our Patriots Draft Central coverage. John Zanis, Taylor Kyle, CLNS Media's draft guru and Patriots beat reporter covering every single pick that the Patriots made in the 2023 draft. Patriots entered day three with four fourth round selections. Uh, and after taking an interior lineman with their first fourth round pick, the Patriots traded up traded up in the draft to take a kicker. We'll tell you about that in just one second. But first off, we do want to tell you, uh, please support our sponsor here, FanDuel. This segment is powered by FanDuel. Go to FanDuel.com slash Boston. Take advantage of the special offer. Uh, the kicker, mm-hmm. Chad Ryland out of Maryland, probably the consensus number two kicker on the board mm-hmm. here for the Patriots. Uh, you had Jake Moody going in round three, the bottom of round three to the 49ers. This is they traded up for him too, didn't they? Did they huh? trade up for him? Didn't they trade up for Moody yeah. too? This is a need um, because Nick Folk is old and nothing against old people because Nick Folk has actually been one of the most consistent and reliable Patriots over the past few yeah. years. Uh, really a marvel and really kind of helped them transition from the Stephen Gostowski era uh, and has done really well for them. But uh, the leg strength is an issue. We started missing a little bit more. You're dealing with some injuries. This was a problem. Uh, and it's one that, while well, Folk is under contract for another year, you spend a pick this high on a kicker, and this is the highest ever Bill Belichick has selected a special teams player uh, in his tenure with the Patriots, a few picks of, ahead of where he took Steven Gostowski, who arguably was the best kicker in Patriots history. All due respect to Adam Vinatieri and his clutch genes, Gostowski was money. Here we go with Chad Ryland. What do we know about him? Yeah, so I mean, he's a kicker. So I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the quick. He the kicks quick the easy. ball. Thank you, Taylor. Yeah, we'll yeah. see you guys later. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, the biggest thing is that he's a bad weather kicker, and that's a huge thing for the Patriots. We saw it in. Um, you know, the other kicker they drafted that we don't talk about anymore. Uh, he also had a history kicking well in bad weather. So that's obviously in Foxborough. You got wind, you got bad weather all the time, uh, especially later in the season. So you need somebody who has that experience. Um, he can also kick 50, 60 yard field goals. I believe there's a clip on Twitter going around. Where I think he hit a 63 yard field goal. Uh, Might have been in practice. Um, and he's also pretty consistent. Not great, you know, pretty like good by NFL standards, but not necessarily anything special on 50 plus yard field goals. Um, and really the biggest thing is he's got a good leg, but I've heard that you want him to hone in his accuracy on uh, his ball placement. So that's the big thing. And I literally don't know what else I could say about a kicker unless like it's some dude who's ripped out of his mind. And uh, <laughs> that's not necessarily the case, but he seems like a really nice dude. So good for Chad Ryland. I think that's more than enough about a kicker, but I'm going to, I'm going to double down. I'm going to make you say even more about uh, special teams in general, because again, a little bit later in the draft, the Patriots uh, double dipped at the kicker position, kicker position, special teams, getting a punter. This is also clearly an area of need Bryce Berenger. And this was the consensus one or two, Uh, punter again the first one taken uh there's also the punter out of rutgers who's more of a ball placement specialist behringer's the big booming leg guy this is the first time uh since 2000 that a team has addressed both of the kicking needs in one draft when the raiders took both sebastian janikowski and shane leckler uh both of whom ended up to be uh you know outstanding there um and so again this is what you get here Taylor, when you have a plethora of picks, which the Patriots did, the yeah. ability to use them and not really have to worry that you're burning uh, assets and address important positions on the field uh, that have to be addressed. Everybody needs these jobs. Uh, and when you have a bad one is when you really, really know it. So, uh, again, Patriots hoping that they've got, you know, two young players at this position that they can kind of, you know, have for, you know, for several more years. Yeah, for sure. I mean, just look at that guy. It's like, remember Rodrigo Blankenship out of Georgia, the guy who had the goggles? Yeah. Like, that's him. He looks amazing. Uh, but yeah, no, beyond that, he's a really big leg. And I think the reason they probably opted for leg power over accuracy is you can teach mechanics, but you can't teach a strong leg. You can train or whatever, but, you know, this guy's just different. And then he's got the similar thing, obviously, um, the same with Ryland, where, you know, physically you don't worry about them. You just want them to be able to be able to control other kicking more. So that's what I got. Oh, he's also a holder. He's also a holder, and in the Senior Bowl, uh, he was the holder for Ryland. So they have experience together. They already got the operation down. 
next level thinking from Bill or slash Matt Crow. <laughs> yeah. And again, big, big, big numbers. And again, some of the some of the knocks here, you're talking about maybe some of the punts are a little bit line drivey. They want to work a little bit more on hang time and placement. Mm-hmm. He averaged 49 yards per punt last season, 22 of 50 punts inside the 20 yard line, career average of 46 yards per kick. Um, so uh, that's the the metrics. Those are the stats there. Uh, he will compete in camp with uh, Corliss Waitman, uh, who they brought in, who was a left-footed kicker, uh, I believe, right? Yeah, I believe so, uh, yeah. Wait, Barringer is a right-footed kicker. Belichick loves his lefties. But, um, again, this is the type of thing where it's a legitimate competition. Uh, you draft a kicker in the fourth round, uh, like I said, unless they have tattoos all over their arm, uh, you know, uh, spewing some that hateful guy. stuff. That, that guy. guy. Unless they're that guy. And also, I watched him kick. He couldn't kick either. Uh, that was oh. just a bad pick. Unless yeah. you're horrible and you're drafted uh, up high there, you, you're, you're going to get that job. So you bet on Ryland being the day one kicker and Folk most likely being released. And Folk is the type of guy you could always give a phone call to if things go shockingly bad and say, you want to yeah. kick this Sunday? Are you available? Um, and I'll be fresh. So. Yeah. But this this is a legit uh, competition at the punter position. I don't think anything is necessarily yeah. given here. It's a sixth-round pick like any sixth-round pick, and if you can't, if you can't cut it, uh, you may not be around here. So uh, there could be a legitimate uh, kicking competition in camp featuring uh, the Patriots, uh, two punters, Corliss, uh, Waitman, and uh, their uh, you know freshly drafted uh, punter here, Bryce Barringer. Again, make sure to keep it here uh, on Patriots Press Pass, CLS Media's YouTube channel, for draft profiles on every single player the Patriots have picked. Taylor Kyles, he's got – don't let him fool you. He's got extensive knowledge of the kicking game too. He's a former punter himself. He's just oh, being, <laughs> he's just, he's just being humble. Uh, he knows what he's talking about with that. But again, Taylor's going to have deep, extensive film breakdowns uh, on uh, clnsmedia.com as well. So make sure you follow along uh, all of his work and our draft coverage, even though the draft is over, will continue uh, much more to come on CLNS media. Thank you for watching.